In Hollow Knight, there was the infection. But in Silk Song, the enemies are clearly not infected. How can I say this? Well, in Hollow Knight, when you hit an enemy, it gives out this orange juice kind of thing, which is the infection. But in Silk Song, when you hit an enemy, it gives out these small pieces of silk thread. Now, this could be because the enemies of Silk Song are controlled by an evil cat that likes playing with wool. But a more likely theory is that someone, let's call him the puppeteer, is controlling the enemies like puppets. Don't understand? Let me explain. So I theorize that this guy, the puppeteer, lives somewhere near the top of Falum. And from there, he uses long strings to control all the bugs of Falum. So basically, the bugs of Falum are his puppets. Further proof of this theory is that when most enemies are killed, we are able to see a long line of silk above them. I think that this is the puppeteer's long line of silk which he uses to control the bugs being cut when the bug dies. But there's one potential flaw to this theory. How can the puppeteer, who's just one guy, control all the bugs of Falum? But I have a potential solution to this flaw. You know those white husk-like bugs that you see in the opening cutscene of the game? carrying Hornet in her prison. I think that the puppeteer employed these bugs to puppeteer the enemies that you face in Falum. So basically the puppeteer is the big boss and the white husks listen to what he says and control the bugs accordingly. There's one more problem though. In the Xbox trailer we are able to see a black bug that does not give out silk when hit and instead gives out soul like the non-infected bugs from Hollow Knight. This is only a one enemy thing though, so I think we'll probably only know the reason for this once Silk Song comes out. So there is one last and final potential flaw. If the enemies are all puppets, why are there different biomes and different kinds of enemies? Why didn't the puppeteer just make one kind of enemy? It would have been much easier. Well, I think that before the puppeteer came, Falun was actually a thriving civilization. And then, once the puppeteer came, he tried to make puppets out of the weak enemies which couldn't stop him, so most of the small ones, and therefore there were different biomes and stuff created by the past civilization, and there were different types of enemies, just like in Hallow Nest. But this is all speculation and I'm not a professional, so this might be true, might not be true, I'm not sure. Okay guys, I guess that's it for two- Wait, what is this? 8.3% EMOTIONAL DAMAGE Come on guys, the percentage of you that subscribed is lower than the marks percentage I got in my 6th grade dance exam. And I did 4 steps out of a 128 step dance. 4 steps. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE But seriously though, please, for me. Hit that like button and subscribe. Also, if you're watching this video and somehow haven't subscribed to Mossbag, go subscribe to him because his video titled Silk Song News I Haven't Covered Until Now is where I found out that bugs in Silk Song give out pieces of thread when hit. Alright, I'll stop talking now. Bye. Subscribe.